Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Sonar in Docker using Docker Compose. So, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to do everything on the command line. However, if you're not comfortable with the command line, then you can download the Docker desktop GUI from the Docker website. You can also use the GUI for this tutorial if you prefer. And bear in mind, because we're doing everything in this tutorial on the command line, you can also use this approach with Ubuntu server. So first we're going to run a command to install docker. That command is sudo apt install docker. I'm going to put a dash y at the end, but you don't have to do this. If you don't do this, then you'll just get a prompt asking you to confirm the docker installation. Great, so docker is now pretty much installed um, and we're going to run docker dash dash version. And when I run this, you'll see that docker dependencies aren't installed and docker compose also is not installed. So we're going to run another command, which is sudo snap install docker. This will install all docker dependencies and also install docker compose. As you can see, now, when we run docker dash dash version and docker compose version, a version for both pieces of software are outputted. And this verifies that both docker and docker compose are correctly installed. Great, so now we've got docker and docker compose installed. The next thing we're gonna do is create a docker compose YAML file. Now this docker compose YAML file is basically a configuration which describes all of the containers which we want Docker Compose to run. It also contains the configuration for those containers, such as ports that the containers will run on, uh, storage volumes that the containers might use, along with any additional settings. Our Docker Compose configuration file will just contain the configuration to run Sonar as a container. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a directory called Compose. And this is where I'll place all of my Docker Compose YAML files, along with any other configuration directories or files related to Docker Compose. In this Compose directory, we will create our first Docker Compose YAML file. This Docker Compose YAML file will contain the configuration for our Sonar container. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is head over to the Docker Hub website. And the image I'm going to look for is going to be the sonar image which is hosted by a linux server um, and just a personal note on a linux server uh, images i really like their images i find them really reliable and stable um, and they've always just worked for me so i highly recommend downloading their image so this is the docker compose configuration for sonar and it's the default template we'll be using if you want to know what each of the fields do in this configuration then you can go to the docker hub website where i am now and you can just scroll through the documentations and it'll explain exactly what each field does. I'll leave a link to this below in the description. Let's now copy the configuration from Docker Hub and we will paste it into the Docker Compose configuration file on our local machine, which we created earlier. Awesome, we're almost there. We've almost finished configuring our Docker Compose file. So let's just cut this file and we can see what's left to configure. So when I look at this file, I can see that we need to fill in the path to data, the path to TV series, and the path to download client downloads. So there's three paths here. The first one is called data, and this maps to the config drive within the container. This is where Sonar will store all of its runtime files along with its configuration. The second path is TV series. Now, this is where if you've got any existing TV series knocking around, on your machine, you can paste them into this directory and Sonar will automatically pick them up and start indexing them. And the third path is the really cool one. Now this is the one that most people want to know about. So what this path is, is if you've got a download client such as Transmission, which downloads torrents off the internet, you can get those torrents to download to a specific folder, for example, a TV series folder, and Sonar will automatically pick up those TV series and begin indexing them. If you then have um, a media serving client, such as Plex, 
you can then configure Sonar to speak to Plex and all of the libraries and TV series which you've downloaded through your download client will be routed through Sonar for indexing and then displayed in Plex for viewing. If you want to know more about how to set up Plex with Docker and Docker Compose, I've got another video on that and I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and create those three directories. That's the data, TV and downloads directory. And then what we're going to do is update our existing Docker Compose file to reference those directories and hit save. Awesome, you finished configuring your Docker Compose file. So your configuration file is now ready um, and we're ready to spin up Sonar as a container. To do this, we're going to run the following command sudo docker compose up dash d now you might have noticed the dash d at the end this flag is really important it allows docker compose to run as a daemon in the background this means when you close your terminal window docker compose will continue to run if you don't include this flag the minute you close your terminal you will also shut down docker compose and your sonar container will cease to exist so now we can see that um, the container has successfully spun up but we can double confirm this by running the following command sudo docker ps dash dash all and this will show us all running containers under docker as we can see our sonar container has successfully started and right now it's running on port 8989 now this port is really important because it's the port that we will use to access uh, sonar through, through our browser. If you don't like this port or if it clashes with an existing service on your system, you can change this in the Docker Compose file. Fantastic! So we've confirmed Docker Compose has successfully started up our sonar container. We're now ready to open our browser and navigate to sonar. As you can see in my URL bar, I navigated to localhost on port 8989. It's localhost because I'm running this container locally on my server, but this might be the IP of your server if you're running it um, on another instance within your uh, home network or on the cloud somewhere. Um, and then it's port 8989 because that is the port in my Docker Compose file that I configured for the container to run on. So if you want to now go ahead and configure Sonar, on the left here you've got the settings tab. If you click that you can integrate Sonar with an indexer such as Prowler or a download client such as uTorrent or Transmission. Sweet, so Sonar's running really nicely um, and I just want to show you guys one last thing which is how to stop any running containers which are running under Docker Compose. So I'm going to go back to the terminal and I'm going to type in sudo docker compose down and this will now shut down the running container um, and then we can prove that this container is shut down by running sudo docker ps dash dash all and as you can see there's no containers running on the system so that concludes the video and i really hope you found it useful if you did find this video useful please hit that like and subscribe button below i'm the tech taurus and i'll catch you in the next one Thank you.